Hello. So recently a lot of people have, well, a few people have asked me what a pig butchering scam is. It's a pig butchering scam. You can call it the goat scam or the cow scam, you know, the cow butchering scam or the goat scam. It's basically a, a thing where you, it's a romance scam. You'll meet someone could be through a you know dating app, could be through a matrimonial app, could be through some um, Facebook connect or a Twitter or what have you. And you'll, you know, you'll start talking to them. Typically, it's a woman and, you know, you'll, they'll befriend you. They can check you out. You can check them out. Their social media, everything will be valid. And it's a confidence scam. So they'll get confidence. And over the course of this confidence scam, you know, you will ask, hey, so what do you do? Oh, I'm a nurse and, you know, I recently started playing crypto. Oh, I'm a, I'm a doctor and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a trainee. I'm, I work in the restaurant business. I have my small clothing store and I've started playing crypto. I've started playing stocks. I started playing Forex. I started doing gambling, online gambling. I started this investment scheme, um, whatever it is. But basically, that's how it starts. They will never, ever push this to you. They never do that. What they will do is they'll say, hey, you know what, I'm having a really good day. And you say, hey, how are you? Obviously, you're talking to them. They're, they're interested. You're a man. You probably are married. You probably are engaged. You probably are a grandfather, whatever it is. The woman has got you. She's got your attention and you feel really flattered. And the butchering scam or the pig butchering scam is to make the pig fatter and fatter and fatter before you butcher it for maximum meat. So, yeah, you know, for purposes of Indians, they call it the holy cow or the holy goat scam for Muslims, etc. So make it really, really big so that you get the maximum beef or meat out of it. She'll tell you, oh, she had a fantastic payday today. You know, she, you know, she invested $250 and, you know, turned into... $900 and you know now it's like $5,418 and you'd be interested she'll tell you of a website you go registered there and you'll probably won't she tells you about four or five websites all these websites are fake all the trading on them is fake it's all owned and you know uh, connected to them and she'll tell you well you know there's a restriction you have to send money to Binance from Binance you buy BTC you transfer it over to this account and that's how you fund this account etc etc and you'll start You'll buy some maybe $500 worth of Ether or whatever it is, or USDC, you'll transfer it. You buy it from Binance. You bought it from a legitimate place. You'll transfer it to their wallet. And suddenly you'll have an account in this, you know, uh, so to speak, this app or this website. And they'll trade on your behalf some auto bots, etc. And the next thing you know, your $500 is, you know, uh, $1,293. And you say, wow, this is pretty easy. And she'll tell you, hey, you know what? You can work on this specific bot. You need the, the, the requirement is $5,000 and you can make a lot of money. You put 5,000 in, et cetera. And, you know, over a couple of weeks, you're now looking at $22,000. And you say, hey, you know, I want to cash out. They say, well, the cash out is, you know, $25,000. This is why it's a big site. Not everyone can come in. And you say, okay, cool. Um, and your money is locked in and you say, my God, you know, there's a good opportunity coming and they'll get more and more. And suddenly, you're, you know, you'll send $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 in, etc. And they've got it all. And on the website, they'll show you that you've made some fantastic profits, $142,000. And now comes the killer. You want to withdraw. Oh, you haven't done KYC yet. KYC is know your customer. It's simply asking you for your documentation. But no, over here, they'll say, oh, KYC costs $25,000. Uh, and, you know, the stupid, the foolish you will actually send $25,000 over there and you will are paying it more. And they say, oh, you know, it's they'll, they'll find some more uh, things wrong with it and they'll ask you to send 10000 more, 15000 more. In the end, you know, the day you start probing in, boom, they're vanished. They're gone. They've taken over fifty, sixty, eighty thousand, hundred thousand dollars $100,000 of your money and you are looking stupid because you've borrowed from others, because you've gotten others into it. How do you tell your wife? How do you tell others that this was a romance scam? This was a confidence scam. You can't, you're really, you basically are screwed and you're screwed really bad. And that's what happens. It happens over and over again. There are thousands of websites on the dark web. You can actually buy the entire software for very cheap for $200, $500, hook it up on a PHP server, fully blow it and, you know, connect it to certain APIs and show trading and everything else. All, it's all fake. It's all fake. And that's how they do it. 
and they get the money and they're long gone. And, you know, that woman might still be available on WhatsApp and she'll tell you what? Guess what the story she's going to tell you? Oh, they ran away with my money too. Oh, they ran away with my money. I'm broken. I don't want to talk to you. I want to kill myself because I, oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm so in so much pain. and trouble. It's all BS. It's all BS. You are a victim of big butchery. You are a victim of a confidence scam. You are a victim of a romance scam. Be very careful with your money. If it's too good to be true, it most probably is. Anyways, I hope you keep your money safe. Please don't get involved in this thing. It happens more than you can actually think. Um, and chances are someone around you has been a victim of it. Anyways, till next time, take care. Faisal Khan, signing out.